Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today it's another character designing speed paint. This time it's of my original character and it's a girl this time. And she's a very old character, but I've had her since 2006, 2007, 2008, something like that. Uh, her, her design has changed a lot over the years and this time it's gonna be I'll be straying away from the her original ninja-esque stereotypical ninja outfit. So a lot of the parts of this will be very sped up, mainly because it took me five to six hours in total to get everything done. And even when I sped things up, even when I cut things out, like unnecessary footage, it still ended up being upwards 20 minutes. So it this is gonna be a two-parter again. And I will upload the second part either on Tuesday or Wednesday. It depends. To talk about the original design, it was this green and purple ninja outfit. I might include the original in the second video just to show you guys how it would look how it looked like throughout the years. And I strayed away from that. I made it more post-apocalyptic. I and mean, that's where I drew my inspiration from, but I still kept some stealth, but not really uh, elements like a scarf or uh, the dark color scheme and the like. So this time, we are doing the base like what we did in the first in the fire mage character designing thing, but this time we are also including the first layer of clothing. This being like the black under clothes, yeah since there's a lot of cut-off parts in the outfit. So the anatomy still gave me a hard time, but it, I don't think it was as bad as the one in the Fire Mage speed paint. I did try to be a bit more careful with what I was drawing, and I tried to use guides and references, even though it's not... I don't think it's still perfect, and I still did end up fixing a lot of things after the base, but it wasn't as painful or as glaringly bad as the Fire Mage character designing one. So very quickly, I'm sketching in the sketch, and it's gonna serve as the basis for the layers later on. It's just so that I kind of know where certain things will go. And I did draw her a few months back already, but those were just like preliminary designs, and they were just black and white. And even though I had a color scheme in mind, it wasn't really final. Like there's certain details that I wanted refined still. And I guess this uh, version is the official version until I come back two to three years like, later and be like, Scat, nope, don't like it anymore. So this time she isn't as naked as the fire mage or the guys when I draw them. I guess the only warning that I will give you, even though maybe it's a bit late now, but the warning is she is in her underwear. We are working on skin. And my phone just vibrated because of a message. Jeez.
just say this was such a pain in the ass to edit. I mean the video itself since I had four videos, each spanning around two hours to three hours each. So I had a lot of footage to cut out. I really had to speed things up. Unconsciously, her underwear became something very close to a swimsuit. I guess, unconsciously, at the back of my mind, I still had the idea that she was a water-based um, person. So, even though she doesn't really dip in the water a lot, I gave her something very similar to a swimsuit. Or maybe because I was listening to free when I was when I was drawing this, like I had the free soundtrack on. This is what I was talking about. I went back and the day after, and corrected some of the body parts, like uh, the the hips waist was a bit wrong. Her um, knee area was too cut off. I guess I could say. So I connected some parts reduced some parts, basically fixed things. So now we're working on the first layer. It is mostly blackish since it's so sort of the under layer. Originally, I wasn't planning to put the shoes on this layer as well, but I decided to do that so that when you hide the second layer, her shoes are still there. The only problem this time is when you hide the first layer, she doesn't have any shoes, so it's a trade-off, I guess. Even though I don't know how these boots work, I kind of like it. Maybe there's a zipper at the back or some sort of button. I'm not sure actually. So I really did give her a dark bluish uh, clothing scheme just so that it, it would reflect her water element a bit more even though it's really dark and the purple or was it lilac let's call it purple for simplicity's sake the purple accents was just to give it a bit more life to make it to make things pop and not just be a drab blue and very dark violet color color scheme I mean Also, I've been playing Sims 4 Line Out so much that I haven't been drawing a lot, to be honest. Drawing the Tales of 69 challenges in a while. It's, it's been a week and I haven't drawn anything. Uh, Sims 4, why do you do this to me? So the idea for her underclothing is to be, especially for the shorts, it's something a bit shiny. You know how second shorts, the black ones are very shiny. I made it a bit so that it's kinda like that. 
because of a mat on the clothing is a bit boring. So there's that. Me attempting to create some texture in my drawings. Her outer clothing on the other hand is meant to be matte. It's not supposed to reflect so much light. But it's also meant to look a bit stiff. It's not really soft, uh, flexible clothing. on to part 2 so that you can see the rest of the outfit as well and as well as the original design and I hope to see you there and I hope you enjoyed actually yeah that's it see ya